What's up guys? Today is a really special day because we get to do something that I have been wanting to do for a really long time because I love cookie dough. But how do we make it safe to consume and still taste good? That's what we're going to find out here in the test kitchen. Did I pull that right? We read online that you can pasteurize eggs at home, which is a process of partial sterilization, making the product safe for consumption. I got that from Wikipedia. Very simple to pasteurize your egg. Just fill up some cold water. Oh, that's warm. That's room temperature. Room temperature! Now we wait until that reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. How are we gonna keep it at 140? That's gonna be really hard. This is really stressful. One, two, three, four, five. Started. Five minutes on the clock. This is at 138. Any variation could cause the egg to cook. It's already 144. Right, take, it off take it off the heat. All right, it's been five minutes. Now Julia is going to carefully drain the water out. And that's how you pasteurize eggs. All right, JP, I don't know if this is gonna be safe. And we don't know if it's gonna be cooked at all. Oh, yeah. You could just eat that. Is it cooked? No, I don't think it is cooked. What's that white part there? Guys, comment below if you think this egg is cooked. Ooh, that, that, part one, looks a little bit cooked. that one's got more whites cooked. But guys, I think we've proven it out. If you put this in cookie dough, you're good to go. I don't know if we know. It's just, it's just not safe. We read another article that said the salmonella was on the outside of the eggshell. So if you just run it under hot water, are you good? <laughs> Is that safe to eat? It's just not safe. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, after this video, make sure to check out our brand new channel, JP and Julia, because we just found the best pizza in Italy, and that video just went live a second ago. Look at that. Hashtag goals. So come on over, subscribe, and see a different side to healthy junk food. What do you want? <laughs> I can't. Julia, I love you. I love you. We did it. You get a pot with boiling water, and you put this on top. Boom. It's just like making hollandaise. Crack an egg. What you're basically doing is you're just killing the bacteria off the egg. You don't want to overcook it or else it'll turn into scrambled eggs. See? How do you know when it's done? You just know. See that? It just looks like whipped eggs. No, it, it's, I killed the bacteria. What do you got in mind then? We need this stuff. Hashtag not sponsored. It says on the package. Pasteurized and it's gluten free. How does it have no cholesterol? How do you have an egg with no cholesterol? Because it's healthy for you. Don't question it. They're they're taking care of your health okay, all right, all right. by doing that for you. All right, guys. We also have to worry about the flour because the flour may contain some bacteria that we have to kill off. And the way you do that is heat treat it or put it in the oven. Preheat 375. We're gonna put some tin foil down on a tray. We're gonna take our one cup of flour and pour it right on top. Then we will stick that in the oven and continuously check the temperature until it's 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, this flour looks so good. It looks just like flour, right? It looks like it's been treated by heat. We're about to eat the safest cookie dough we've ever had in our entire lives. We're gonna take half a cup of brown sugar, packed one cup flour. That's been heat treated. Yes. And heat treated. Very good, JP. Half a cup of sugar. Okay. A half a teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Entire stick of butter. So you're gonna eat all that? Yes. Oh boy. That's why it's so many calories. Just measure a quarter cup. Tell me when it's a quarter cup. Quarter cup! Stop! I think my pasteurized eggs would have worked. It's very questionable. Now take your hands and get in there. Get dirty with it. Don't most people use like a blender or mixer to do that part you're doing. All right, JP, since both my hands are dirty, you're on chocolate chip duty. This is beautiful. Look at this cookie dough, guys. This is the greatest day of my life. Now, can you put this in ice cream? I actually got some vanilla ice cream just in case. We Did wanted you really? to do that, yeah. You're lying. No. Better not be briars. No, I got a different kind. Blue ball ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually recommend this, but I still feel a little bit weird about the eggs. I think that we should try the recipe without the egg to see which one tastes better. We're going with a quarter cup brown sugar, packed, 
Two tablespoons of butter, exactly. We're just doing a smaller amount here. Five tablespoons of heat treated flour. Tastes just like flour. You know what, there isn't a replacement for the egg, we're just not putting egg in it. So we're going with an eighth a teaspoon of salt, an eighth a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of milk, it's not expired. Because that would like kind of defeat the whole purpose of this video, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it would. All right, we're just gonna continuously mix this together until we realize that we're missing an ingredient. Maybe we need more milk. Going in with two tablespoons of chocolate chips. See, look at that. You think that's a good thumbnail? <laughs> All right guys, that's it. It's that easy. Edible cookie dough without egg. You know, the real question you should be asking yourself, Julia, is is this dangerous to consume? I guess since you're eating both of them, it's gonna be hard to say which one killed you. Oh no, I don't even like cookie dough. Ew. That's why I wasn't about this video, I'm sorry. He has not wanted to do this video with me. Eat, eat the whole that's thing. So, no, I'm gonna say I like cookie dough. It's not bad, it's actually really good. Let me try the other one, I don't really know. Okay, for real. You got a little on your butt. No, <laughs> it's still there. Okay, the second one was more like buttery and creamy and smooth, but I think I like the first one better. The second one had to have been this one, and the first one had to have been that one. Okay, you're right. You're right. The point of the video is edible cookie dough does exist and it's safer to eat than when you just mix the stuff together home with mom. It's not safer to eat, it's safe to eat. I might get a lot of comments saying, hey, you really can't eat pasteurized eggs. Guess what, we just did. So this job might have just killed us. So let's end this video with putting some of this cookie dough in some vanilla ice cream and putting some sprinkles on some cookie dough. We did it, we made it, you saw it. You know what to do. Tap that like button, tap it, tap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. You can be part of the squad. Want to be in the credits? Hit us up on Patreon. And before you go, make sure that you're following at least one of these things. Oh my God, this is gonna be another good bite. Mmm, mmm. Guys, mix it with some vanilla ice cream. You're gonna be in your own little heaven. Here we going. Guys, related videos are here and here. There will be new videos coming soon, but if it's not there yet, that means it's too early. But it will be posted there later, and it might be a different video until then. Alright. Thanks for making this with me, JP. I know you really didn't want to. Yeah, no, it's fine. And I'm not gonna get sick, but I am gonna get fat. <laughs>